We have a selection here of shoes from the museum collections. Um, they date from the 13th to the 15th centuries. We don't normally find organic materials such as leather and wood. Um, they don't survive in the archaeological record. And these ones have done because they were found in a waterlogged area, um, which used to be the city ditch. There's a number of different styles. We have some pieces which have been, they're just big pieces of leather which have been pre-cut, ready to be um, made into shoes. And we have some pieces um, which are soles which have already been cut out and they've been pre-drilled with the little holes that would have been, help them stitch together. We have some complete shoes as well. And you can see how all the pieces um, are quite small. So all the individual pieces are small and they've been stitched together. So presumably if one part wore out, you could just replace that one part rather than throwing the whole shoe away. We have some soles um, which have been cut ready to make into big shoes and we have complete shoes like these ones and they vary in form so these ones here that are pointy are earlier in date and these square toed ones come in a bit later on. These pieces are all found in the city ditch um, and so they have been discoloured by the muds and things in there and they've also shrunk as they've been dried out um, which is how we preserve them so they're a little bit smaller than they would have been in the medieval period. Um, you can see they vary in size, we have some big shoes which would be more by adults and this one here and then we have some smaller shoes which would have been for children. They would have been used by everyday people. It wasn't just rich people that had these sorts of shoes. This one in particular has been fitted to the shape of one person's foot. It's stretched where their toes were. And it's these sorts of differences that can tell us about the really personal lives of people in the medieval period in Chester.